I saw this. All of it. You have the sight. Don't pretend ignorance. My Bene Gesserit sisters knew of my history. Of my time among the Fremen. It's true. You drank the water of blood. You survived the weirding ritual. How else could I do as my sisters commanded? Without the power of the blessed water, I could never have survived the scrutiny of the Emperor's seers. But you did. And Carino is dead by your hand. Perhaps you are the one. The atrocity was born of duty. I served you well. You expect more from me? What do you want from me? Speak. Truth. You dare to use the voice. You dare to enter my mind unbidden. You are not what you seem, Reverend Mother. What horror are you planning? This interview is over. You will obey us, sister, or you will die. Go! I can only die once. There are deaths, and there are deaths. You will obey us. Know then that the first great spice war on the planet Arrakis has ended. The Emperor Carino is dead, poisoned by his concubine, the Lady Ilara. Now, a new war rages for the control of the Golden Lion Throne. A great civil war between the noble houses of the Lansrad. Only three houses remain with the resources and ability to seize control of the throne. The noble Atreides, the insidious Ordos, the evil Harkonnen, all three are evenly poised. All three are equally committed. All three know that the key to victory lies on a vast, barren, waterless world. Arrakis, home of the most precious substance in the known universe. The spice melange. The spice extends life. The spice expands consciousness. The spice is vital to space travel. A new war begins. Each of the three great houses must attempt to gain the majority of occupied territories on the planet. Who controls Arrakis controls the spice. And who controls the spice controls the universe. The reign of House Carino is ended. Another house must take its place. I am Shafla. I represent the Spacing Guild's interest in this matter. Under the terms of the Great Convention, a limited form of warfare known as the War of Assassins has been declared by three factions. House Atreides, House Harkonnen, and House Ordos. The rules of conflict prescribe formal declarations of intent. Who would speak for House Atreides? I am the Duke Achilles of Arrakis. Of Arrakis! Oh my, that is too rich. I see the Atreides still harbor delusions of superiority. I was told I would be able to speak. Baron, you will have your time. Indeed, I will. House Atreides will abide by the terms of the Great Convention. Our intent is to secure the planet Arrakis and oversee the production of spice for the good of all. Baron Rakan. I had hoped to avoid this unfortunate conflict. My intent was to make a gesture of peace. Peace? We have oft times seen the Harkonnen's treachery. While he talks of peace, Plans for war. Talk is relevant. Peace is not an option. Who is this creature? 
It speaks for the executrix of house orders. Is the executrix afraid to speak for themselves? Are they so cowardly? We are the executrix of house orders. We fear nothing. We will abide by the terms prescribed by this council. We will eliminate all competitors in the end. We will prevail. All other considerations are trivial. Let it be war then! We will take Arrakis! We will control we the will space! We will control nothing! Enough! Know then that the War of Assassins has begun. The war will be limited to the planet Arrakis. Use of atomics is forbidden. So long as these rules are followed, the Guild will not interfere. But understand this. During this conflict, and following it, no matter what the outcome, the spice must flow. This council is ended. The war begins. It has never ended. Arrakis lies at the hub of the universe. Once more, the wheel is poised to turn.